good YouTube? Welcome to YouTube. You're back again once again. And today, people, today we are here for episode number nine of our brand new Pokemon Radical Red Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we got the fuck up out of Pewter City and all the way here to Mount Moon, snagging encounters along the way. And we fought a pretty spicy mini boss and learned quite a bit about the AI as well. So if you missed out on that, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. In today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, it is our goal to make it to the end of Mount Moon. Yes, you heard me correctly. Our goal is to make it to the end of Mount Moon. More on that in a moment. You will see why, of course. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys are hyped for some more Pokemon Radical Red, Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke, and of course, if you'd like to show your support as a primer of the Navi Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you're all ready. No! Your support is greatly appreciated. Now, everyone's favorite part of the video. It's time for a quick team recap. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think we've ever swapped Mons up this many times in a Nuzlocke, but it is necessary in this game. Up first, we have Hillary, our level 23 ferret. 23 is, of course, our level cap at the moment. Holding them black glasses, adamant nature with adaptability, rocking head, but thief quick attack and helping hand. Up next, we have Walter. Oh, we just love Walter. Doesn't everyone love Walter? Our level 23, Chimeco, holding the twisted spoon, modest nature with levitate, rocking extra sensory, yawn, astonish, and teleport. Then, ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause. A big welcome back. Bienvenidos once more to Xander, the newly evolved Wigglytuff. And when I tell you, expectations are high for this motherfucker right here expectations are very very high and let me tell you why xander's level 23 holding the pixie plate rash nature with sheer motherfucking force what listen y'all told me that wigglytuff was a monster in this game when i was the doing coming up with that little plan and Figuring out what we're gonna do today, looking at the mods we can use. I looked at the fucking Radical Red Pokedex and I saw Sheer Force and my jaw went, bam, hit the ground. No fucking way. What? What the fuck? So yes, we used our last ability pill and swapped Xander's ability from Clear Body, which I wasn't mad about before. I really, really wasn't mad about it. Swapped it from Clear Body to uh, Sheer Force, because duh. Um, but on evolution, Xander learned Tri Attack. So we're rocking Tri Attack, Disable, Covet, and Sweet Kiss. We made Xander Rash Nature because we're planning on using both Tri Attack and Covet today. But more on that later. More on that later. More on that later. But yes, everybody, welcome back, Xander, to the squad. We have high, high hopes for this pocket monster right here. Up next, Orlando is returning as well. Orlando, our Thwacky, at level 23, holding the Miracle Seed, Adamant Nature with Overgrow, Rocking Rage, Leaf Scratch, Drain Punch, and Fake Out. Up next, we have the newest member of the squad. I guess, objectively, the newest member of our current squad. Goddamn, we've had returns, but this is a W. A W. <laughs> Anyways, we have Rochelle, our Araquanid level 23, holding the Mystic Water, Jolly Nature with a Water Bubble, rocking Bubble Beam, Infestation, Bug Bite, and Spider Web, and oh my god, what a fucking snag for us. So let me tell you. Um, I don't know what a Raquinid is going to look like late game, but for right now, holy shit, a Raquinid puts in so much fucking work. Very, very big grab. Very, very big grab indeed. And the last but not least for today, we have Marshall, our level 23 Pidgeotto, holding the Sharp Beak Jolly Nature today with Frisk, rocking Dual Wing Beat, Return, Quick Attack, and Proust. Of course, we will go into why everyone is set up the way it is and wh why we, we chose to bring what Mons in today's episode and a little bit later on. I mean, you got episode number nine. You should know the, the breakdown for the episodes now. Um, and by the way, if you haven't noticed, um, I have started including chapters on the videos for this because I know some people enjoy hearing the plan and the team building. Some people just want to see the battles. Some people want this. Some people want that. So, I mean, fuck it. I, I don't know what... what. They got a little bit for everybody. Click on what you want, and then, hey, I hope you watch the whole thing. Shit. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Before anything else. Hey, to those of you guys that were flipping out because I didn't get that hidden item, hey, trust me, I understand the pain. I be getting a lot of hidden items from time to time, so sometimes I be missing them. But we was deck snapping, or what the fuck is this thing called? Dex <laughs> we were Dex navin and shit, so we were just a little bit distracted, that's all. Um, anyways, at the end of the last episode, I asked you guys, what should we do about these here raid dens popping up all over the Kanto region? Um, and basically, I think the consensus, or the, uh, the, the, the easiest amalgamation of different comments is, 
I think that we are going to treat raid den encounters as single use, single time, single use, that works, you use raid dens, single use static encounters. Meaning that, like, imagine we went and clicked on Mewtwo instead of a raid den, and it's randomized, you know? It doesn't matter what you get, it's that mine. Are the raid dens gonna be randomized? I just thought about that. Is it weird that I was thinking of like a parallel example to a different LP and automatically without thinking I just thought about randomized? Like, do we even play regular Nuzlocks anymore? What the fuck, bro? Um, but yeah, if it, you get what you get, period, done. You know, you don't get to throw another one in and activate the raid den again. You know, each raid den is one time, one use. Snag what you got here. Um, but now I'm thinking about it being randomized. What if we get a duplicate? Because, like, when I, when I mentioned that with the Mewtwo before, I was sitting there thinking, you know, what you get is what you get. So, like, if you randomize the Mewtwo and it's a Mon that you already have, you can't re-encounter that Mewtwo. It will always be that randomized mod. Or at least that's how we played. I don't know. I don't know. This strange den exuberates powerful energy. Would you like to look inside it? It's a fletchling! Oh. <gasps> Where's my Rhyhorn when we need it? Um, I don't know who the fuck to choose, bro. What the? Uh, yo, I'm gonna go with this one. Because I think the Lunatone is the best out of the rock types. I mean, it sucks to be a Grovile in a Fletchling raid, but just get out the way, dog. Hey, Grovile learns Rock Tomb. Click that Rock Tomb. It's like three Pokemon to take into battle. Oh, wait. What are we fighting? A Fletchling? Um. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. Xander? Um. Can't take you. Can't take you. Do we take Walter? Do we take Hillary? Do we take Marshall? I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna take you. Let's fuck it do it. A powerful wild Pokemon came out of the den. Why is it red? It's level 21. We can do this. I mean, Yowth! We chose Brendan? Whoa, 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 whoa! Jupiter appears to be massive! Ugh. So wait, we can Dynamax, right? We can do that, right? Dynamax energy gathered around you. How do I Dynamax? How do I, how, I don't know. What button is this? How do I, oh, nope, nope, we don't want that. I don't know, I don't know how to, how to, whoa! Whoa! I don't know what all these buttons do. Okay, I don't know how to Dynamax. I'm just gonna fuck this thing up. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, Airy lays that bit. Wait, it's a Dupiter, not a Fletchling. So the raids are randomized. All right, fuck this thing up. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm tired of this shit. Dupiter is getting desperate. A mysterious barrier appeared in front of the wild Dupiter and is protecting it from attacks. Max Flutterby, chill the fuck out! What is happening? Okay, fuck you, dog. Lower my goddamn special attack. I should disable that shit. Um, I don't know what the fuck is happening that was predicting the wild Dupiter disappeared. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Fuck it all up. Aerialize that hoe. Nullify the stat changes of and it. Uh, uh, Max Geyser? Why the fuck do you keep attacking my mind, dog? You don't see this motherfucking meowth right there? Stupid ho! Cut that shit out! Get him out of here! He leaf bladed him. That's toxic. That's like teabagging in Dead by Daylight. Jupiter is weak. Yeah, I'm not using no fucking quick ball on this shit. Bro, get in this bitch. Get in this bitch. Um, so I am at a crossroads. I know I said you get what you get, but now I'm thinking about it. It's like, this is radical red. Um, should we swap this Jupiter out? Like, it's our one encounter. Uh, we've never played that way before, like I said, with the Mewtwo example. Like, if that's what you get, that's what you get. But, it's Radical Red. At the same time, I would not mind having a second Araclinid. You know, it could help, but... 
Um, th this this one I'm gonna do. This one I'm gonna do. This one I'm gonna do. Um, whoever we, it, 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 let's say this wasn't a Jupiter, it still probably would not have ended up on the team today. I mean, unless I don't know, maybe if it was a fucking Mewtwo or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, 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 wait. Orenberry, <clears throat> Stardust, Musclewing, Chestoberry. It's just like Raid. You got all this shit after that. Hey, where's my experience candies? Lepaberry, one wish piece. Load that Raid right back up. Um, okay, that was great. Nobody died. Cool, 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 cool. Um, the other one that we saw before, uh, that one we would need cut for, right? We gotta get cut, and that's not till so. SSN. It's not till the SSN. I had to work my way through. I was like, Cerulean doesn't sound right. Hold on. I had to work my way all the way through the map. That's where you get cut. Shit. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys again. So I'm going to slide this little guy down here, this little gal down here. And we're going to say, just so I don't have to backtrack all the way through Mount Moon. That was on Route 3. So let's say we caught it and, oh, it's dupes. Um, so we're going to exchange it for another encounter on the route, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the Jupiter and I'm going to keep the other encounter on the route. And because I already have today's episode, our battle planned out, like it's like when we have all Wigglytuff last episode, like it was cool, it was great, but we already found a way through it without it. Um, so whatever this is, I'm going to leave them in limbo. I'm going to let you guys choose. Do we do dupes for duplicate encounters through duplicate static encounters? That's the part that's fucked with my head. It's a static encounter. You cannot change it. Um, do we do duplicates for static encounters and we go with whatever we catch now or do we just say you get what you get and we stick with the dual dupiter but you know what in all honesty i say it out loud and i feel like i know what everyone's going to say <laughs> i feel like i'm the only one in the get what you get boat uh, i feel like everybody's gonna say to fuck that get a new encounter so all right fuck it i'm gonna get a new encounter let's see what we can do i was watching this um video about hey that's new I said I wanted a water type. That's new. Um, I was watching this video about you can use repels to help you get whatever encounter you want guaranteed in this game. I don't remember the exact tech behind it or whatnot, but it has something to do with like whatever the highest mon in the area is or something like that. I don't know, but you can basically guarantee it. So we have a star you over here. Um, and I know that a lot of you guys want me to name this thing Shibaki. Um, but you know what? I think I'm gonna name it Greg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna name it Greg. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna name it... I don't know. I want something sort of abstract. I want a beautiful name. I want a beautiful abstract name for this star you. Um, I'm gonna name it. Destiny. No, that's less abstract and more stripper polish i'm gonna name it <laughs> uh should we name it ophelia i feel like we just had an ophelia who was ophelia no 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 i'm gonna name it <sighs> fuck it i don't want to waste any more time <laughs> i don't want to waste any more time so, Subaki it is. Fuck it. That's how you spell it, right? <laughs> it's been so long! Uh, so, okay. Uh, like I said, I'm just gonna assume. I know assumptions make an ass out of you and me. Um, but, I'm gonna assume that most people are gonna say, Fuck it! Use a different Pokemon! So, this Jupiter that is a... Does it show anything like about it being a Raidmon or anything at all? Nope. It's just a regular ass old Pokemon. Alright, bye bye.
So now we have a star you and wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We do have a water stem. Yo, that is actually kind of super duper dope. And I will, I will tell you why. I will go ahead and I'll tell you why. That is super duper dope because I mentioned at the start of this episode that the plan was to get to the end of Mount Moon today. Oh, bullet seed, fuck. That sounded really promising. I mean, that would be good for like focus ash mons. We already got our Mount Moon encounter in the last episode. That is Rochelle. That's on our team right now. So we, there's Kung Fu in here, damn. Um, so we are not stomping to get, damn, dog, I thought it was far enough away, shit. Thanks, dog. Um, so yeah, the goal is to get to the end of Mount Moon today um, because Mount Moon has a mini boss battle that is unique compared to all of the mini boss battles that we've had so far. Now, in the last episode, we were talking about um, like the AI is different between gym leaders and mini bosses and this and that. And I think it's true. I think that's pretty much more or less true at this point. There's Sinistee in here. Um, because after the last episode, testing out that mini boss battle tactics versus um, the tactics we used against Brock, Brock definitely played a lot harder. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I forgot about Team Rocket. Hold up, let me see. So, I did and did not forget about Team Rocket. More on that in a moment. But, I forgot about them being in here. But... I think this guy is gonna be just like the other trainers. I don't think that this is gonna be a wild Buku battle, but let's see. We Team Rocket are Pokemon gangsters. All right, get him out of here. Why you gotta bring back the Fennekin that I just lost, whore? Oh shit, these motherfuckers wanna fight too. Oh shit. Like, I know that they're not gonna be like crazy trainers or anything, but is it weird that there's still a part of me that's like, oh shit, like, fuck. I gotta get out of here. Like, this battle's gonna kill me. Um, so, speaking of Team Rocket. Team Rocket, Team Rocket, Team Rocket. I didn't forget about Team Rocket um, because at the end of Mount Moon, there is a Team Rocket boss battle that I am not entirely prepared for at the moment. Um, and it's actually really dope that we ended up with that Star U because that Star U definitely will help us with that battle but because it's a boss battle um i started to look into it um i prepped for our mini boss battle so that i'm pretty confident in the boss battle i have not super duper prepped for yet uh, which is why i don't want to dive like headfirst into it um but just at a glance it appears like we are not really prepared at all and i'm going to need a little bit more time <laughs> to go ahead and sit down and do it um uh, so in my head I, that that's the course that i've plotted out today's episode is that we're going to stop just shy of that boss fight we're going to take care of the mini boss we're going to stop just shy of that boss fight and then next episode we're starting it right off with some heat diving right into that boss fight um just because i want the chance to look <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I want the chance to prepare um, as best as I can. In this mini boss fight, I don't know. I, I really wanted to put some attention into it, and you will find out why in a moment. Anyways. Hi! I'm excavating the fossils here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock or Peter, Jen, Peter Jim lends me a hand. Oh, you beat him? That's admirable. Perhaps you can make use out of this. A muscle band. Oh, wow. Um, but speaking of items and hidden items, we ain't missing no more hidden items ever again. Um, the Radical Red Docks have a complete items list, um, and it includes hidden items. Yo, there's a raid den in here? Get this pop wheel out of here, Doug. Get this Psyduck out of here, yo. There's a raid den in here? What the fuck? The strange den exuberates powerful energy. Would you like to look inside? I don't know what the fuck that is. It's a steel type? That's a, uh, uh, cuffin. Uh, it's a steel, but it's not gonna be that. It's gonna be randomized. 
Um, homeboy is here again. You know what, Brendan? Let's fucking get it, bro. Let's fucking get it. Xander, hop on in. Um, well, it's not going to be what's there. What the fuck? I don't know who to choose. Uh, I'm going to go with Hillary so we can headbutt. Fuck it. Show me who's in this den. I don't want it to be dupes either. Give me something random and create. Oh, all right. That works. You know what? Persian's fast as shit. I'm down. There's one thing Alfredo taught me. Them fast ass mods. All you need is headbutt. All you need is headbutt. All you need is headbutt. Max strike? Bro, stop fucking up my mods. Stop. Get this shit out of here. And don't be clicking max strike again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack them. Yo, these fucking Dynamax moves. <laughs> oh, yo. Yo, fuck him up with that brick break. Get him out of here. Okay, well, that's a new mon that we haven't caught yet. Yo, this just added a whole new crazy aspect to the game. Holy shit. Uh, okay, we have Alfredo. Um, so... Do we stick with the sauce name? <laughs> I'm gonna call you Buffalo. <laughs> we have Alfredo. Um, I really want to call this thing Parmesan. <laughs> Detective Gene Parmesan. Um, I'm gonna go with. Oh, margarita would fit good here too. Um, but I'm gonna go with. Debella. Debella will be our Meowth. It will grow on us. It will work, okay? I'm excited to use that Persian. Give me Slash. Give me Slash. I just want to outspeed, cut everything. I know I don't know how it works, but still. Swift Wings. Stardust. Charty Berries. 19 Swift Wings. Oh, that's it? No experience candies? You bitch. Um, okay, wait, Xander. 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 Xander, hold on, buddy. Let me heal you up. Um, yo, dog, you trying to fight? Did you come to explore the cave too, bro? I am the cave. Um, no, 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 no. I don't like yo. We're all out. Ugh. Wait, who are we fighting? A magnemite? Train punch this hole. <laughs> Train punch this hole. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. I'm not trying to run, ho. Get this shit out of here. You get this shit out of here. Why are all these people got fucking Cosmos? Um, you know what? Fuck yeah. All them headbutts are back. Fuck yeah. We can't go to the bottom of Mount Moon? We have to rock smash? What the fuck? Oh shit, dog. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Uh, chill, bro. Everybody got cup foods but me. When do I get a cup food? Huh? Make it make sense. A moonstone. See, that's why I was thinking the moonstone was that. These motherfuckers just gave us ten. Ten moonstones. Here, have it. Here, have it. It's all yours. Of all whatever minds you want. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, ever. Whatever, ever. All right. Hillary, I'm getting more and more nervous as we go along here. <laughs> because I know what is coming and what to expect. Oh. Oh. Come here, bitch. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Stop, 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 stop. I'm like, I, I'm, I've, I've mounted. I'm not mounted. I'm, I'm, I'm on the mountain top. <laughs> I'm ready for this. So stop fucking with me. Stop getting in the way. It's not this motherfucker. It's not this motherfucker. That's actually really dope to get i think the only fighting move we have right now is drain punch on orlando who can learn
our fucking uh, low sweep. I feel like you're learning low sweep. I feel like you're learning low sweep. Whoa, ho, ho. Whoa, ho, ho. Okay, so the time has finally come. We have arrived at our miniature boss here. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Super Nerd Miguel, who is a mini boss here in Mount Moon. And the reason it is difficult, more difficult than the mini bosses we have fought before is because he is the first doubles battle in the game. Um, I have heard that the AI for double battles is much more chaotic and hectic than single battles, so I really don't know what to expect. I couldn't find any sort of guide or explanation for it, so I'm going to try to play it like a double battle with this game's AI and hope that that's good enough. I know that that sounds obvious, but let's hope that that's good enough. Um, however, as you can see, his squad is a little bit problematic. He uh, is leading with a Thwacky. I'm guessing on all the other um, trainers, their teams, whatever the first mod was, was the first mod they sent out, but it's double, so I can only guess that he's leading with Thwacky and Hisui and Voltorb and not Thwacky and Swoobat. I prepared for him to lead with Thwacky and Hisui and Voltorb, um, so let's cross our fingers and hope that that's what happens. So, this Thwacky began giving us a few issues because, you know, right off the bat, I'm sitting there thinking, all right, Thwacky, what the fuck do we do here? As you can see, he has Grassy Surge, which is problematic because that's going to up his defense and up his attack and heal him. Yes, it will heal us, but... I don't know who at Game Freak thought, yeah, 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 fuck yeah, let's make a fucking field effect that ups <laughs> defense and attack at the same time. It's a free fucking workup. That's workup, right? Yeah. What the fuck? Anyways. Thwacky is a little problem because he's a little bit bulky. Um, I thought about leading with Pidgeotto with uh, Marshall, but... If he's leading with that is Sui and Voltorb, I think the Sui and Voltorb is like base 60 speed or something like that. So that's just screaming Volt Switch right there. It's going to Volt Switch our Pidgeotto. So I was sitting there thinking, okay, well, what else can I bring alongside the Pidgeotto to maybe take the ten uh, tension away from it? Um, but I think if we bring the Pidgeotto, that's just screaming for the Grookey to fake out. We're going to get faked out and then Volt Switch. And now I'm sitting here trying to run calcs on fake out and Volt Switch and can we live? And what can the mod next to me do? And I thought, wait a minute, stop. That's the wrong way to go about it. How can we stop this Thwacky from faking out entirely? That's me reacting to the AI. No, I want the AI to react to me. So I was sitting there looking at Armand's and it dawned on me, our Thwacky outspeeds his Thwacky. His Thwacky would be two levels lower than ours. We're base 48 speed uh, while being adamant. His Thwacky is adamant. It's only base 45 speed. So we send out our Thwacky. I'm clicking fake out on it. Whether his Thwacky clicks fake out or not, or if he swaps, I mean, you swap Sableye, that would pretty suck there. It would suck there, but I don't think he... I think he's going to click U-turn more than anything else. If he's not clicking fake out, he's clicking U-turn. Anyways, me faking out the Thwacky keeps his Thwacky from faking out my mom. And initially, I thought, let's run Walter alongside because Extrasensory does decent damage. Um, I thought about Pidgeotto as well, but then, you know, it goes back to the Asui and Voltor. We're just going to get Volt switched on. And because he outspeeds, he's gonna Volt Switch and then swap to probably the Swoobat to take any hit from Arthwacky and then to Swoobat would probably take the fucking dual wing beat best as well. So it's just not it's not working. The Trimeco, I thought, okay, if it wants to swap, if it wants to attack the Voltor, we're gonna eat the hit. If it wants to swap, then I can click extra sensory on anything that comes in. Or not. Um, I mean, the Swoobat extra sensory is not going to do that well. And then there's a Sableye sitting right there. So Chimeco went out the door. So I was sitting here looking and looking and looking and thinking and looking and thinking and looking. Who could we leave with? Who could we leave with? Who could we leave with? Xander. Xander's try attack obliterates the Voltorb. If he leaves it in, it's gone. The Thwacky's flinched. He's faked out. We're not stressing. The... Voltorb would get obliterated by Tri-Attack. If we are going with the 
idea that we had last time of trying to lead with it um of the ai swapping when there's a move that it knows it can kill um if it were to swap like let's say oh my god there's try attack let's get the fuck out of here let me swap to my ghost type being sableye um that is why we are rash nature because we have covet as well which is a fairy type move um covet does i think let's check it out covet does i'm pretty sure wiggly tub is number three covet does base 50 to this is with grassy terrain on as well does base 50 to the voltorb if he were to stay in let's say for whatever reason if against the thwacky covet only does 28 percent, but we're try attacking that this is with the idea of the thwacky is already out <laughs> we're talking about if it were to swap how much covet would do to each mon um the swoobat if they swap it in covet's doing 25 percent um and then try attack i mean look what damage does it do in return try attacks stomping it next turn uh who else did you have the skiddo your skiddo super nerd miguel covet does a clean 30 percent try attack cleans up turn after that um and then the sable eye the sable eye is the main reason we're rocking covet because let's say you predict that try attack and we swap you swap and i click covet you know it does 20 ish to 30 ish to most people on the team is doing 50 to the voltorb it is obliterating the sableye like it's dead next turn 100 percent sableye is 33 speed wigglytuff is 32 being rash natured it's 32 rash up special attack and lower special defense hold up maybe we should have changed it to why did i say rash i wonder if there's a separate calc that i ran that was like uh we need this extra special attack boost but i don't think so um i think now in, in the 12th hour i'm thinking about maybe swapping to hasty or because I'm noticing as I'm saying this out loud, um, is there a, fuck, I'm, I'm noticing this here, naive, I'm noticing this as I'm saying this out loud, <clears throat> see, if we make ourselves naive, then we're 35 speed, um, the reason why I was mentioning that is because as I'm saying it out loud, I'm noticing we're 32 speed. Sableye outspeeds us. Skiddo outspeeds us. You know, we do all this damage to them, and then I'm sitting here saying, oh, next turn it dies. But uh, sure, it's a double battle. I have a mod next to me. The mod next to me could kill. But either way, if I make it naive, Covet still does 80%, 70% to this uh, Sableye. And honestly, that's the one that matters the most. The rest of them, um, Wigglytuff, we're clicking fucking try attack on. So just, just for GP, we click Thwacky. Try attack still does base 50%. The Voltorb, Fissilian Voltorb. Uh, we're not guaranteed to kill anymore, but I mean, <laughs> uh, we have to be really unlucky to get that little roll there. They're not guaranteed to kill anymore, but you know what? Let's just check just to be sure. Modest guarantees the kill. But naive, I'd rather have the speed so that we can outspeed the two mons that are slowest on his team. That we have a chance to outspeed. Um, that's why I I swapped um, Marshall's nature from adamant to jolly because I wanted him to outspeed the thwacky. If we were adamant, we were one point slower. Um, Chimeco already outspeeds the thwacky at modest, so we left it. We just fixed the Wigglytuff's naive nature. Thwacky's adamant. He outspeeds. Um, Araquanid is jolly because an adamant Araquanid is 31 speed and a jolly Araquanid is 34. That allows us to outspeed the Sableye if we need to. Um, and we speed tie with the Skiddo. If we are 31 adamant, uh, I mean, I guess Araquanid can take some fucking hits. Um, but I think we still dish out enough damage where we need to. And then Furret is adamant at 58, I mean at 53 speed because between 53 and 58 being Jolly, 
It doesn't help us. The Hisuian Voltor is base 60 speed, and we did have one Mon that could outspeed it, and it was Alfredo, but I think Alfredo, like, just did, like, an average of, like, 30% to everybody on the team. Like, it just wasn't enough. Like, the speed's great, but it wasn't enough. We'd have to, if we could guarantee a flinch every time with headbutt, then sure, load it the fuck up. Let's go. Um, anyways. Yes, the Suing Voltorb is base 60 speed, and the Swoobat is base 67 speed. God damn. The Swoobat is base 67 speed. I'm still going to check this. We're still at almost 70% min. The Skiddo, we don't give a fuck about you, though. You're getting shredded as well. You get your little bit recovered. Don't matter. Um, so anyways, yes, we got that fixed. I think that was a good change. I don't know why I wrote down Rash. I don't know why. I think I was focusing on not lowering both attack stats, and uh, for some reason, I don't know. I just uh, maybe I just assumed Wigglytuff was slow as dog shit. And there's no way it's outspeeding anything, but just by swapping it to Naive, we don't lose that much damage, and we outspeed the Skiddo, and we outspeed the Sableye. Um, I made the Pidgeotto Jolly initially to outspeed the Thwacky, and I wanted to bait the fake out. Remember we were talking about that? Uh, take the fake out in the Volt Switch? It was a bad plan. The only part that remained from that was the Jolly Speed because it still allows us to outspeed the Thwacky. So, enough is enough. We are going to go into this together and find out what the fuck happens here. We've discussed the plan. Um, honestly, when it comes to team building, we really can only go about like one or two turns in. <laughs> and after that, it is craziness who knows what happens um who are we leading with who did i say we were leading with we are leading with orlando and xander because i think xander applies the most pressure to a swap but my thing is like i'm sitting here talking about oh he's gonna swap oh he's gonna swap oh he's gonna swap they didn't swap in the last mini boss fight so do we test it again do i click uh wait 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 we outspeed the sableye i mean the sableye is prankster it could burn grookey or not grookey thwacky um but anyways 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 we could just click try attack right now and test it let's see if he swaps because try attack is not guaranteed to kill anymore i mean it's it's a, it's a big 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 chance to kill but not guaranteed um anyways fuck it enough let's get it hey stop i found these fossils they're both mine all right Doug. come on bro come on bro Super Nerd Miguel! Thwacky and Voltorb. Okay. Excellent. Wait, but they didn't load in the order that I thought they would. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's left to right. That's his left. Fuck. Um, it doesn't matter. I don't think it changes anything. Um, okay! I hope I did everything right! And we don't get fucked up. And we don't get fucked up. Um, this seems so odd to me now that I'm in the position. Why am I faking out to dodge a fake out? What do I do about the Thwacky afterwards? I never thought about it. What the fuck? What am I doing? Um, okay. Why don't I fake out the Voltorb? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go with my plan. I didn't put too much, too much into this. We're gonna test to see if this Voltorb swaps. He could just Volt Switch. That's probably what he'll fucking do. I should have clicked Covet. He didn't. Was that HP Ice? That's fine. We weren't worried about that. He didn't swap. And the try attack. You saw the calc! Fuck! What the fuck? Oh no, he's focused Sash. Ah, I did remember that. Shit. It's right there on the fucking dock. You know what? That's the second time. Second time that it has been right there in front of my face. But I did remember it the moment I saw the, the HP drop right there. Okay, wait. Time out. Fuck. Um, I think this Voltorb is clicking self-destruct, to be honest with you. And this Thwacky is most definitely clicking Grassy Glide. So, let me... No, he could click U-Turn, actually. But Grassy Glide does 44% um, to our Wigglytuff. And this Thwacky here, if he were to click... Um, you turn on our Thwacky, it would do 50% damage, or a maximum of 50% damage. So let me think, what is, what, what's most likely to happen next? I feel like he's clicking self-destruct, <laughs> maybe not, um, but, uh, I mean, we outspeed this Thwacky. 
But we're not getting good damage off on it. Um, okay, so only thing that I don't want to have happen is for us to swap our Thwacky out. And this Voltorb clicks like Volt Switch. Because I was going to say, I'm going to go out to um, Marshall in Thwacky's slot to put pressure on that Thwacky. Um, and then kill the Voltorb right now. But... I need the Voltorb gone. I really need the Thwacky gone. The Thwacky is the biggest problem. The Thwacky and the Swoobat are the two that I have biggest issues with. So let's check something really quick like. Let's check something really, really quick like with our Araquanid. Thwacky is doing almost not. Almost not. 40% right there at max with Grassy Glide. Um, so, I mean, we could, I'm saying we could take any of the, he's not clicking fake out, but we could take these two on swapping. I mean, we lose our mystic water there, but, um, bug bite, we don't have speed either. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's what I'm talking about, though. I'm so stupid sometimes, yo. I just be, I just tunnel vision on one aspect of the fight. Um, let me think. This Voltorb, let's not overthink it. How about that? Let's not overthink it. I feel like this Voltorb is clicking self-destruct or HP ice. So I'm going to shift Rochelle in on this point. Because I don't see the AI clicking Grassy Glide on this slot. So I'm going to shift Rochelle in here. And then I'm going to... Do I kill the Voltorb? I'm gonna go for the kill. I'm gonna go for the kill. Yo, please don't Volt Switch. Okay, he Mega Drained. I was gonna say, ah! <sighs> Knock off, so we lose our Mystic Water. Okay, I'm gonna take that off of the calc now so that we don't calc anything with the Mystic Water anymore. Okay, we got rid of the Voltorb. So, uh, you bringing out that Swoobat because it's a uh, Araquanid, right? I know you see that. I know you see that Swoobat right there. Oh, I know you see that Swoobat! All right, these are the two motherfuckers that are our biggest problem. This motherfucker has a grassy seed as well. And here's what we are going to do to solve this here problem. All right, Grassy Glide on Araquanid only does a possible 40%. We can, honestly, I'm not even worried about the Thwacky. I want the swoop back gone. If we go out to against Araquanid, this is what Swoobat is doing. Air Cutter's not even doing that much. But I don't want it to calm mine. In return, we're hitting it with a bubble beam for 50% damage. And combine that with, um, like, if we focus it down. Damn, dog, yo. This is way really tough. Shredding things. Um, I just don't want to take too much damage from Grassy Clyde. Because, wait, let me check that. Let me check that. Let me check that. So, Air Cutter does 28 minimum. 28 minimum. Thwacky does 40. Okay, 40 maximum with Grassy Glide. And Air Cutter does 36 max. Okay, so it can't kill us this turn. That is what I was looking for. Actually, I don't know. <gasps> We're not at full HP. It's just because they both will go first before Rochelle. But are they attacking Rochelle? Are they attacking Zan? I feel like the Thwacky is attacking Rochelle. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go out to... He's definitely not clicking U-turn on Walter here. Definitely not clicking U-turn on Walter here. Um... Fuck it. 
he clicks U-turn, I will be actually surprised. And then we're going to lock in the tri-attack. He calm-minded. Fuck! I shouldn't have done that. I was scared of the air cutter, and we just said... Knocked off my goddamn pixie plate, too. Um... Okay, okay, wait. We have to stop this now. Let me get rid of the pixie plate. I shouldn't have swapped. I shouldn't have swapped. I shouldn't have swapped. I shouldn't have swapped. Because what the fuck can we do here? Um, actually, I'm gonna extra sensory. No, he might U-turn. Walter! Walter outspeeds, though. But, let me see against this Thwacky. Let me see against this Thwacky. U-turn's doing 40%. Um, and we're doing 56 with extra sensory. How much are we doing to the Swoobat? Um, and keep in mind, the Swoobat is at 1 plus 1 special defense. And special attack. Um, <laughs> Swoobat's doing nothing to us. Um, if we check the Wigglytuff against the Swoobat with the same... It's still doing nothing to us, yo. I don't know if it's smart to just keep ignoring this thwacky like this, but he just clicking knock off on everything. Air cutter hits both of us. I did not know that. I did not know air cutter hit, but I mean, it makes sense. It's an air current. Okay, we gotta get these two out of here. They've done the damn job. I should have left. I should, honestly, I should have left um, Rochelle in. And then just attacked that swoop bat. We would have never gotten into that situation. Um, Xander, you have done more than enough, bro. You have done more than enough. Let me tell you. Okay, um, this skiddo can be a problem. Um,. We're not in a good way right now. Yo, I, I just, this game is crazy. I take so much time out to fucking prep and plan and prepare. Y'all see me, I sit here and talk all this shit before the fucking battle. And I forget the most glaring and obvious things, like right in front of my face. And now here I am, end up in situations like this. Yeah, right, okay. Say, I know you got up and walked away, girl. I told her to lay her ass down back there until I'm done with this episode. Because she won't get a bath after this. And now she want to up and walk away. Stress, stress, everything is stress. Um, can I? Oh, wait. I mean, we outspeed. I could just teleport. <laughs> oh, we outspeed here, right? Um, the Skiddo. I feel like he's probably gonna click Rock Slide here. I don't see it horn leeching. Maybe it'll horn leech. Um,. I don't see it clicking brick break here. So I think I'm swapping. Only thing that would suck here is a rock slide. I just said rock slide too, didn't I? The grassy glide I wasn't too worried about. Ooh, it might hurt. He went for Horn Leech. Excellent. 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 Okay, now we outspeed both of his mons. Thwacky is 45. Skiddo is 30 fucking 4. Oh, we outsped the Skiddo with uh, Wigglytuff. That's why we made him naive. But we didn't outspeed the fucking whatchamacallit. I don't think we were shredding the Wigglytuff. I don't think we were shredding the Skiddo. Yo, I'm just so happy that his two fastest mons are gone. Uh, Wigglytuff actually was shredding the Skiddo, but the Horn Leech would have definitely killed. We weren't killing the Skiddo, we were shredding it, but not killing it. Um, okay, so I think that I am going to... Ah, the Skiddo is kind of... No, let's get rid of the, the Thwacky. Let's get rid of the Thwacky. Um, dual Wing Beat on the Thwacky does not do as much as you think. Dual wing beat on the Thwacky has 54 min. 
Let's hope we can get it higher up to 72. Um, but then the headbutt, which I'm pretty sure will end up doing enough to wrap it and we outspeed. Um, I'm just more worried about the grassy glide. Another 45% onto us. Quick attack doesn't do enough because the grassy glide, he's definitely grassy gliding Hillary. Um, and I feel like we're getting, ah, I feel like we're definitely getting rock slided after this. Hold on. Let's see how much this rock slide is going to do before I agree to be rock slided and grassy glided. Rock slide does, oh, 50, 50. Um, he might just fucking click horn. Yo, we might lose somebody right now. Might just lose somebody right now. It's just cause like we can guarantee to kill one thing, but then something else might not. Actually, you know what? Check this out. The fuck is this motherfucker running? The fuck is this thwacky running? He ain't got no, he just got grassy glide. All right, we're gonna have to take one more grassy glide because this is what we gonna do. We are going to headbutt and dual wing beat this skiddo because I want it gone. Oh, get him out of here! I don't want to be horn leached. I don't want to be rock tuned, rock slided. I don't want to be none of that shit. He, he just, he got brick break too. Fuck all that noise. Fuck all that noise. If we gotta take a grassy glide, oh, I should've known he was gonna click knock off. I had an item, duh. Okay, Thwacky knocked off the fucking sharp beat. Get rid of it now. Get rid of it now. So I think all he has left is the Sableye, which we were going to click Covet on, but I don't know if we can still do that. Um, so this thing is going to burn us because it has Prankster, Will-O-Wisp, Recover, Protect, and Foul Play. So the issue that we have here, I think we should not have done that turn just now. Um, Grassy Glide is doing 28.9% to Marshall. I think we are living it. The dual wing beat is doing 60%. So I think our play here is I hope and pray that we do not get really hoping he was gonna burn Hillary there I was really hoping he was gonna burn Hillary there because this is gonna do so much less damage now you know I should have known I should have known that... okay we didn't get grassy glided I should have known that that's what was gonna happen you know that's so unfortunate we really needed him for this um, all right Marshall's got to get swapped out Hillary uh, we are you're probably gonna get burned to be honest with you, you're probably gonna get burned here. But what we're going to do here is we're going to headbutt the Thwacky. Or should we? No, we're gonna quick attack the Thwacky. Because he'll probably click Grassy Glide. Yo, does Grassy Glide kill? Oh, uh, we left the Thwacky for too long. Grassy Glide does 45% max. It has a chance to kill. If we get burned, I'm pretty sure it kills. Um, And Quick Attack is doing 30% to this Thwacky. If we get foul played, Hillary dies. Quick Attack does 30% to the Thwacky. Um, Marshall has quick attack too, but what the fuck are we doing with this fucking quick attack as we're burned? Quick attack does 4.5 to 7.5 percent. Yo, we misplayed this battle atrociously. Atrociously. Um, Hillary, you might have to get swapped. Yo, um, I just don't want Orlando burned here. Overthinking the goddamn AI to get grassy glided. See, the thing is, headbutt has a chance to kill the thwacky. We guarantee a crit. 
quick attack, it would kill, and we would go first. But there's nothing else to knock off. He can't fake out. He's not clicking U-turn against these two. He's definitely grassy gliding me. And I feel like he's going to go for the kill with the Sableye. Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, over here, we're going to swap you out for... Rochelle. Because Rochelle's thick as shit. And the quick attack did not kill. Oh my god. Is it enough? Is it enough? I don't think it's enough. Hillary? <laughs> you know, I thought about the grassy terrain earlier when I th said she's gonna get grassy glided and burn, because I knew the Sableye wasn't gonna click Will-O-Wisp on this slot with Rochelle. It will right now though. Oh my god, Hillary lived on two. Um, we gotta get Orlando out here um, in this spot. And even if we get burned and grassy glided, we need to bug bite this Thwacky and get him out of here. Now. Now is a must. Now, now is a must. Oh my god, you didn't burn! You didn't go for the burn! Alright, grass, grassy glide all you want. I think that does maybe 45%. We live in that. Big time. Big time. We're not burned. Thwacky's gone. Ugh. 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 So this should be grassy terrain. B -b 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 Boosted. I know you gonna burn. I know you gonna burn. Who you burning? Orlando. Yo, you remember all that shit I talked at the start of this battle about? Oh, he's gonna swap. So I'm gonna click cop it. Motherfucker held on to the Sableye the whole time. I don't wanna fight many bosses anymore. Uh, you know, I don't like this difference in AI. Many bosses just don't give a shit about shit. Then actual bosses wanna fucking run you into the ground. Well, at least take a fossil. No being greedy. Bro, chill. Look at my fucking team. Look at what you have done. Look at what you have done. <sighs> Um, yes, that was a lot, and it took a lot out of us, but in all honesty, it was our first double battle, and I did not really know what to expect, so I would rather play it safe than sorry. Um, the Helix Fossil, or the Dome Fossil? Well, they're gonna be randomized, um, and can we just... I'm gonna take the Helix Fossil. It's gonna be randomized, but... Do we have to revive it, or is we just have it? Can we just have it, please? That's it? We're good? Alright, we are going to wrap up today's episode right here. <laughs> because we got through <laughs> a very stressful battle, and next episode, we have an even more stressful battle. Not just next episode, literally the next three or four episodes are going to be nothing but stressful fucking battles. Cerulean City jacks up the difficulty an insane amount. The next battle, I have no fucking clue how we're going to get through this. He has mons that I don't really think we have a counter for yet. But we got some TMs today, we got some encounters today, so I'm going to go back to the drawing board and hopefully not overthink this next one. I'm going to wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Radical Red Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke, and of course you like to show your supporters a proud member of the Bobby Nation, make sure you like button down below for us because you already know your supporters greatly appreciate it. Until we see each other again, thank you so, so much for your love and light, and be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye! This episode will not be over an hour long. I will edit that shit down. Trust me. If there's a, a five seconds in the video later on where it's like, oh, what the fuck happened there? It was, yeah, I, I didn't want to make sure it wasn't fucking. No, I'll just speed it up. That's, that's even better. That's what I'll do. Anyways, I'm taking up even more time. I'm gonna go out this bitch. Bye!